Hello, friends. The topic is strings. A very, very important topic. Why? Because uh, if you see any uh, application outside, any domain, for example, uh, any organization, if you're a student in a college, you need to maintain the data, students' data. If you're uh, working in an organization, yes, there, you need to deal with the data, your names and everything. So everything is a string. String is a group of characters. Characters are alphabets, digits, and symbols. You deal with that all, all the time. Generally, all the things are strings only. You know, your name and your post letters and your pin codes and everything, of course. It can be, of course, taken as strings, of course. Generally, we'll, it deals with the strings. Your alphabets, lowercase or uppercase, or your digits, and followed by your symbols also. All the thing is a string. It's a group of characters. Okay. So, string operations, it comes, you know, if you're a student or an, a staff or you're working somewhere, if you go to passport office, if you go to police department, if you go to anywhere, Aadhaar cards, MISEVA, uh, any organizations, banking. So, anywhere you deal with the characters, you deal with the strings. And yes, my name is missing, some characters missing, and some surname is missing. And, and please uh, update like this. And all the time, you need to have some modifications. So then how to do it? So we need to know some methods in strings, of course, in Java. Some string methods in Java. So why too late? Let's see the with some sample programs, I mean sample code or sample instructions. So yes. So if you observe, yeah, the string can be created like this in a simple manner, a string data type. And str is the object or the variable is equal to hello CSC. This is your actual string. Okay, so, so that is one constructor. That's one way to create a string. And another way is you can create an another way, like uh, how we create an object. String str1 is equal to new string hello CSC. So this is both the things will do the same simply. So hello CSC is created. That string hello CSC is created. That's all. But anyway, you can follow, of course. Okay, so which one is better? You can follow that. And then, what are the methods here? To understand the methods, <clears throat> let's see the program here. So class string operations, str operations, and then public static void main. And I've taken three strings here, str, str1, str2. Allow strings, how are you? And let's work in small case and let's work in uppercase. You know, to demonstrate some Different different methods. Then S see here the first method str2 str dot two lowercase. str is the object or the variable. str dot two lowercase. That's all in the uppercase. Simply it will be you know changed into lowercase. Simply it will come in a hello strings. How are you in a lowercase? That's all. And then uh, the same str1 is in the lowercase, and you can make it an uppercase. That's also fine. It, let's work will come in uppercase for str1 for this one and str dot trim. So trim will actually trimming means removing the spaces at the front and at the last. See here at front we have some space. At last also we have some space. So you know maybe by by mistake or wantedly we you know we'll give some spaces before and after. So that names will be removed. Only the names taken. That's all. Only the data is taken. By trimming the spaces at the front and at the back at the last front and the last okay so that is trimming next str1 dot replace k comma k with d str1 k with d so where is k it is at the last so replace a character k with d let's work now k will be changed with d let's word it will become let's word now well, that is printed here system dot order printer and you want to print it and str dot link length it just prints the number of characters there we'll see that you know you, you can just understand so zero one two three four space five six like that it will just go and print it even the dots two dots are there everything is a character so it prints all the characters there including the spaces so that is length and then very important str dot index of s str is this one index of s so the first s is found at here 
what is the index here? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is space, 6 is S. So you'll get it as 6 here. And what is str dot character 7? See, index of method, of course, I is small and O is capital. Carrot C is small and A is capital. Please understand. Equals ignore case. E is small, I is capital, C is capital. Okay, so that's very important. But substring all the, it's a single word. Everything is small. So don't think a string will be a S capital. No, it's a substring is a single word. So substring is a single word. Now index is done and carrot 7, str. So character 7, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It prints T there. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is T. It should be T. And then STR equals STR1. So I'm checking whether STR is equals to STR1 or not. No, STR is this big string. STR1 is let's work. No. And it is false. And STR1 equals ignore case STR2. STR1 is let's work with a small case. STR2 is let's work with the upper case. So if both are, this is a small case in the upper case, but equals whether they're equal or not, the method is check whether they're equal or not, ignoring the case. Yes, let's work and let's work both are same. Simply the case is different, that's all. So both are same, it'll give true. And then substring is, it picks the substring. Okay, substring is, it picks the substring. What? STR is having this big uh, hello string, how are you? And then from seven means, so zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. From seven, it picks the substring seven, two. I think hello is having some space here. Yeah. So from strings, how are you? It printed. So see, some space is there at before hello also. So with that, seven will come from strings. So strings, how are you? So substring means from seven up to the end. From seven. So this space is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven is from S. So strings, how are you? It will print it up to the end. But seven to 14, if you give, means from seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So up to here. It will print only strings here. It is, let me show you, strings how are you? Here it is print only a some part. Maybe if you want to pick only surname from the big name. So then you give from 7 to 14. Okay. So like that. So it'll give, so then, so from seven means string, how are you? And then seven to 40 means only you'll get it as strings. So let's work it out. So see the same I have given here, the same program, uppercase, lowercase and all. So let's run it, let's not wait. I think the battery is charging is came to the last. Yeah, you can see here. So first of all, hello strings, how are you? First of all, what is that? Two lowercase. Yes, it is printed lowercase. And str1, let's work in the capitals. Trim. Trimming is taking the space. See here, hello strings, you have a space. The trimming, the space is removed. And then replace, k with d. So let's word. You have understood before. Length, it is 28. And then index of s is 7. And caret 7 is Yes. So yeah, by taking the space as the first character, of course. And then hello strings, we have a space before. Okay, so then str equals str1, it is false. And str equals str1 and equals ignore case str2 is true. And then substring of seven is strings, how are you? And then substring seven to 14 is only strings. So you need to practice a lot with the strings. Why? Because very, very important in the real time scenario. And thank you for your patient listening. Have a nice day. See you. Bye-bye.